Welcome into the BSN Avalanche weekly breakdown presented by Huberger Subaru. No need to ever make the drive or set foot in a dealership. Huberger Subaru can do the entire deal remotely and bring your new car anywhere in Colorado as a courtesy. Ali Monroy here with BSN Avalanche beat writer Adrian Dater. Well, Dater, they did it. The Colorado Avalanche are going to the playoffs for the first time since 2014. They play the Nashville Predators in the best of seven first round series beginning Thursday night at Bridgestone Arena. First off, the Avs have lost their last 10 games against the Predators. There are a lot of people who believe that they won't be able to upset Nashville. What do you think? Well, Ali, if there's ever a time to break that streak and be uh, they're due, it's the Colorado Avalanche. So first of all, 10 games don't mean anything. This is the playoffs. The records go back to 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, and what do I think? I think they have a chance. I mean, there's always a chance in the Stanley Cup playoffs. We only need to look at last year's Nashville Predators for inspiration for this year's Avalanche team. Predators finished 16th, or ranked 16th going into the playoffs last year of the 16 teams. And what did they do? They went to game six of the Stanley Cup Finals. So there is some ins uh, inspiration. 2012, Los Angeles Kings, eighth ranked team going into the playoffs. All they did was go on to win the Stanley Cup. Oh, and by the way, who played for that team in a backup role, albeit, but he played, got a ring, it was Jonathan Bernier, the Avalanche goalie. So, yeah, there's a chance, there's always a chance, and of course, I'm the most optimistic person in the world, so I always think there's a chance. Oh, of course. <laughs> All right, Dater, finish this sentence for me. If the Avs do blank, they'll win the series. If they get great goaltending from Jonathan Bernier, they, always, they have a shot. This guy has got some playoff experience. People forget he actually played two games against Nashville last year in the Western Conference Finals for Anaheim. Well, he, granted, he lost both of them. But hey, they were pretty good games. One of them was a two-to-one game, so he's got some experience. You always need good goaltending in the playoffs. Uh, that goes without saying. Obviously, the Avalanche need a great series from their top line. Now they got out of that slump Saturday, right when the team needed it, didn't they? Uh, McKinnon, Landeskog broke nine-game goalless droughts. They were the heroes Saturday, so they need to uh, keep it going. Hopefully, the the sticks are hot going into this series. Uh, so, yeah, we're not breaking new ground here by saying the Avalanche need a great series from their top line and, and their goalie. But, yeah, that's that has to happen no matter what for the Avs to have a shot against Nashville. Do you think there's any Colorado player that will surprise people in this series? I do. I think there's a chance that Nikita Zadorov could surprise. You know, the big Russian defenseman. He's, he's uh, I think he's looks, I think he gets better in a bigger game. I think he, he's a guy who's going to shine a little bit in the playoffs. Uh, and he's going to go against a, a real physical, big Nashville group of forwards. I think he's he's going to be in his element there. I think he's going to want to hit a lot of guys. Hopefully he can stay out of the penalty box. He does get picked on some by the refs. But uh, I think Zadorov's going to have a good series, and, and this could be a you know wild card guy, a guy for the Avs. JT Comfort, too. Now, he had a bad last month of the season, but I still I think he's got this uh, ice vein, Chris Drury kind of thing to him. So I think he's going to have a good, a, a good series. I, I can see him scoring a big goal unexpectedly. In a, in a game somewhere and maybe winning it. So uh, those two guys, I think they're going to, you know, they're going to be surprises. And, uh, you know, this, this team has shown all year that they uh, they will come out of nowhere sometimes and surprise you just by getting to the playoffs. They did that. <laughs> so uh, I'm uh, very, very just pleased and hopeful and uh, glad to see the Yavs get this far. Nobody thought it would be possible. And uh, here they are. Well, Dater will be in Nashville for Game 1 and Game 2, so be sure to catch all of our content on bsndenver.com. For Adrian Dater, I'm Allie Monroy, BSN Denver. Huberger Subaru is the largest dealer in the U.S., which means big inventory and better pricing.